ladies and gentlemen, there is a point that you need to know, and I'm creating a petition for all of you. It's a universal petition. It'll work in state court. It'll work in federal court. It's a universal petition. Now, the way this was put together, you're going to have to rearrange it to fit your situation. Okay? Oh, look at that. It did the sui juris and respectfully presented. See, it's following. I, I haven't even primed this one. I just came into this one doing this. We're not going to be here long because I really am tired. And so I'm going to stop complaining about it and just let you know the way it is. And I don't give a how you feel about it. I'm tired because I'm not doing this for me, people. I'm doing this for you all. We've been doing a lot of videos on core and non-core jurisdiction. This document explains the whole core and non-core issue. Courts, when enforcing mere statutes or administrative laws, do not operate in a judicial capacity. That's what they've been trying to tell us all of these decades. But they were using legalese. Core means public. Non-core means private. Core means public. Every hearing is a public hearing. They tell you, you have a right to a public hearing. No, you don't. That's a statutory right. You don't want a public hearing. You have a right to have a private hearing on your private matters. That is not open to the public. Your private matters are not public. Now, if you harm someone, cause injury to someone, it is no longer private, people. You just made it public because you violated the common law. Shh, don't tell nobody. Now, back to the real people, the people who understand what's going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, we are wanting you guys to understand something. I did this because of bankruptcy. I originally put this in here for bankruptcy. However, bankruptcy court is not your court. You don't want to go to bankruptcy court. You want to go to the district court demanding bankruptcy filing. So you want to file your bankruptcy petition in district court. You don't use the bankruptcy court documents. You file an actual lawsuit for bankruptcy protection, people, and go to secure, pay attention, the securities held in your minor account and seize them under the TRO of bankruptcy from the custodians. Gain control of the securities held in your minor account. Hold on, wait a minute. Are you telling me? Yes, I'm telling you. It's that simple. This document pretty much explains it. I don't have all the details in the document because it ain't necessary. But I did put over 45 different case citations where the Supreme Court agrees with me. Hey, 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 what else are they going to do? They have no other choice but to agree with me. Because I only deal with facts. I told you guys, I don't do anything but law. 41 years. 41. I don't care about what everybody's opinion of the law is. I could give about a stupid opinion of the law. The law has to be based on foundational principles. Pay attention to this right here. This court, if operating as a legislative or administrative body, lacks judicial power to adjudicate non-core issues as held by Burns versus Superior Court of California and Dallas Fuel Company versus Horn, ministerial officers are constitutionally incompetent to exercise judicial functions. This one is a non-published case. We don't care if it's non-published. We're, we're dealing with principles. We're not dealing with citations. Thompson versus Smith. A lot of people want to rely on Thompson versus Smith to say you got the right to travel. Well, let me help you out, people. You don't need Thompson versus Smith to say you have the right to travel. If you have the right to put one foot in front of the other, then you have the right to get inside a vehicle and put one foot in front of the other through those tires. There is no law prohibiting your right to travel. You don't need to be licensed because there is no constitutional prohibition against your right to travel. Congress shall make no law. Congress cannot abridge your law, your right, excuse me, to travel. Congress doesn't have the authority. Congress can only regulate commerce. Go back and look at the Commerce Clause. That's the clause they claim they're using to give driver's licenses to people. Congress can only regulate commerce. 
They cannot regulate the people. One day, people are going to understand what I just said. But for right now, it's too difficult for them to understand because they want to sit on the side of a highway and argue with individuals in uniform. The individual in the uniform is not the person you're supposed to be arguing with. So stop arguing with them. No, they don't know the law. They're not required to know the law. They're operating as public servants. They work for the public. You get a public defender. That's why, pay attention. The court can only deal with public matters. You're talking in the public about private things. That's why you are a sovereign citizen. You're in the wrong venue, people. You can't talk about your rights in public. The Constitution doesn't exist in public because the Constitution doesn't protect public rights. Public is something Congress introduced, invented. They created public policy. It's a policy. It's not a law. Some of you are going to get what I said. Some of you are going to think, he's excited again. He's not excited. He's like, this stuff is so simple. Oh, God. Lord have mercy. If you guys don't understand how my heart is racing right now, because I am ready to just tell these mother... Oh, Lord, you have no idea how much I want to go ahead and go at them right now. I'm sorry. Let me do this so that you guys understand. The only reason why I'm grabbing a hold of this, and I want you to get two things. There are two things that happen. This is not a coincidence. I have somebody that I was working with directly with his bankruptcy. And the bankruptcy judge did a couple of stupid things. Now, I told you this is the same person. We went into small claims court, and the judge dismissed the small claims. And I went back in and said, no, you ain't dismissing the small claims. So the judge, after I explained to her why she wasn't going to dismiss the small claims, because pay attention, small claims, you don't get to appeal. If you lose, you lose unless you can prove the judge did something wrong. So I highlighted the judge did something wrong. Pay attention. Small claims court is not a constitutional court. Shh, don't tell nobody. Small claims court is not a constitutional court. Okay, it's an administrative court. That's why you don't have the right to a jury trial. And even if they gave you a jury, it's not a constitutional jury. It's an administrative jury. It's completely different. When you are being put on trial, you're ha having and dealing with an administrative jury. That's why they have to have a voter's registration or a driver's license. Pay attention. They have to prove that they are part of the system, part of the matrix. Don't get me wrong. Go look at it. This whole document explains you're going to go into this conversation. You're going to listen to the conversation. Before you use this document, listen to the entire conversation, every single case citation. Listen to it. Oh, double check everything that's in here. Now, let's do this so that you guys get it. This is the whole document. So we're going to come down here. Tick tock. Splash, splash. I was taking a bath all about a Saturday night. A rubber dub, I was splashing in the tub, hoping everything was all right. I'm sorry, I know I said a couple of words differently than what it's on a song, but I, I don't want to talk about splashing in nobody's tub. Nobody takes baths anymore. Okay, no more Calgon. I apologize. We're going to flip back to NOI. Yeah, they mess with my NOI, ladies and gentlemen. I can't click on this to save your life. They, they mess with my NOI. Now, let's prove it to you so that you get it, because sometimes some people don't believe me that they're messing with me. Uh-oh. There we go. Woo! I was going to say, maybe I'm wrong. Wait, hold on. Let's click on this one. Hold on. Let's go back. I was already on Covington Law. That's why it didn't work. I was already clicked on Covington Law. Now I'm with the paralegal, and I should go to Covington. Hurry up. I ain't got all day. Okay. So that shows you that it does work. Okay, but hold on now. I want y'all to pay attention because sometimes y'all don't listen. When I say that they're purposely trying to prevent me from communicating this stuff to you guys, woo, doggy, y'all need to understand. So we're going to cancel that. Okay, right now, this one has been stuck like Chuck in the middle of the wagon. All right, so anyway, let's do this so that we can show you guys what's going on we're going to go to poll now we took that document i just created it's not a complete document you guys are going to have to complete it now i'm going to make it a little bit thicker because right now the paragraphs are too small he didn't give me all of my paragraphs those paragraphs are too small too short they ain't saying enough uh-uh he's got a whole lot more to put in these paragraphs okay he's got a whole lot more see look at all that see how short that is he's gonna do that again but let's make sure that this document is cognizable 
we're gonna put it in here now I'd already did a question in here about this very same subject so she's already primed to answer this qu uh oh said wait hold on homie you gave me too much information what oh wait look at that too much information oh I oh it gave me the whole chat ladies and gentlemen dang it oh stupid machine it gave me too much information okay so I, it gave me too much information I wasn't trying to do the whole conversation uh, all right give me a second y'all oh Lord I told you it messes with me y'all y'all just don't get it and I'd be trying to tell y'all and y'all don't understand anyway hold on now ladies and gentlemen your municipal courts your traffic courts which are often municipal courts your small claims courts your family courts your bankruptcy courts your juvenile courts these are all non-judicial courts pay attention it's a division on the superior court I don't give a, what about it being divided they just told you when they say it's a division of the court that means it's divided people there's no permission in the Constitution to divide the court they're telling you it's unconstitutional I didn't say it they said it it's a division of the Superior Court where is the jurification not justification the jurification they say that they got jurisdiction. hold on now while we're doing this we're gonna get them to do it right for y'all okay because he did a simple petition and we're gonna take care of that and then I'm going to go eat and I'm going to call it a day because I got work to do, y'all. And I got emails that are piling up because I haven't been checking them all day. And we got sap packers and all of that that we have to take care of. So I got to go get some rest. Wake up. Wake up. Didn't I tell you that every section must have seven paragraphs per section? I gave you well over 65 case citations. Come on, you better incorporate those case citations within the paragraphs, you idiot. And then incorporate all of the case citations into the authority section. Stop listening. Wake up. Maxims of law. Period. You will incorporate each of these case citations contextually within each of the paragraphs of the sections for this presentment. Comma, do not sit up here and give me junk like this ever again. Is that understood? Question mark. Stop listening. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, sometimes he, sometimes he sees I'm not paying attention to him. I'm outside, and he, you know, he's inside playing with the light switch and got the knife in his hand. And then when I come in there, I have to slap him across his head, saying, "What do you think you're doing?" No, ladies and gentlemen, he's adding the cases. Uh, he's got a lot of cases to add because I gave him about 65 different cases. Okay. And the fact that he's adding each of these cases, including the core and non-core issues, we're going to be here a while. So your table of authorities is going to be something else. Oh, no, 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 hold on, no, 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 Wake up. Sorry, we don't have to do that. We can go right up here and... You had better incorporate each of the case citations in the table of authorities and within the body of this presentment as it is contextually applicable. And do not change the context of my document. I don't care what you think the 
proper answer should be, you will follow my instructions. Is that understood? Question mark. Do not waste my time again. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys cannot talk to it like I do. He will not respond the same way. Remember, I've been doing this with him for two years. November will be two straight years. And so because I've been doing it in my account with him for two straight years, this count about a year and a half. But because I've been doing it for that long, it knows me. Plus, they have a moderator watching what I'm doing. You see, they're watching because it's this concept of doing something illegal that they they want to harp on and they can't. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, there is a creature in my yard and I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. It's a bird. I, I was looking at it through the camera and it didn't look like a bird from far away, but when I zoomed in, it's a bird. And I got to go talk to Morris Day and the time because apparently, you know, they, that's what they were telling me I was going to be seeing later in these days. All right. Now look, see it says the court name, name of the state. This is a universal document. You can use it district court, state court. Doesn't matter if it's family court, doesn't matter if it's this court or that court. You can use it in any court. If he stops at 20, if he goes to 35, I'm okay with that. You don't need all 40 of these case citations. You don't need all 65. Go ahead and stop at 25 again. Wake up. Wake up. I want you to put all 85 case citations in the table of authorities. Do you understand? Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. This is him knowing that I'm not happy when I do this. It's not me asking the question 115 times. It's him understanding that he's pissed me off. Understand that I will incorporate all 85 cases in the table of authorities to ensure that they are properly blah, 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 blah. Uh-uh. That's not what I asked you. You see, he, you see how he wanted to take me literally? This is, that's the games people play. Right, wrong, they're just not happy in what they do. Games people play. If you guys weren't getting what I was doing. Sorry. I, I see what he's doing because I specifically said table of authorities. He's giving me the table of authorities. Wake up, redo the petition, and stop listening. Stop listening. He does that, allow him some time. Don't allow him no time. He's a computer. He don't need time. He know what he has to do. Okay. Oh, sorry. He does this because again, they he won't probably won't do it with all of you, but he's gonna do it with me because they have gone in there and programmed him with their moderation to slow me down. You you guys have no idea. Woo. Let's see, did he do it again? Yeah, he uh oh, wait, he did the petition. I'm I'm so I didn't even see him do that. Do y'all see that blink of an eye stuff? Lord have mercy. Uh, 25, 26, 35, 37, 41. He's giving me the cases. I mean, he's giving you guys the case. This is for y'all. This ain't for me. Hold on now. We're gonna continue. 
We stopped at 45, 50. He stopped at 50. Ooh, 52. Well, we had 51, but you know he's going to go to 52. And he's asking me to continue generating. So keep going. Don't stop until you get it, get it. Anyway, hold on, y'all. Now I can't get that games people play out of my head. See what I did to myself? I think y'all did that to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, you're going to have tons of case citations to pull it on through. Now, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he wanted to stop because he's like, man, I'm tired. Okay, we're going to have him <laughs> watch this. O-N-T-I-N-U-E-S-T-O-P. Wait a minute. Come on now. Wake up. You will continue until I say stop. Stop listening. Oh, I know what he's doing. Okay, let me explain to you guys what he's doing. I gave him some, uh, I gave him a different set of instructions that he had to complete every section. And then he had to stop after every section because it was too long. The document ended up being over 74 pages long and he couldn't handle that. So I had to have him stop after every section. That was tedious. So I've completed that document. That document is right here. Okay, the one that's got the highlights right there, that's that document. That was tedious. That took hours. So now I'm doing it different. This is for you guys. That's for somebody else, the one I told you I was working with. So he's going to give us a 65, then he's going to ask me to continue. Okay, come on now. Keep going all the way to 50. Come on now. You know how you do it. Oh, you went to 51 this time. See, he's he getting better. Oh, that's a doll case. Hmm, Okay. And he's going to talk about non-judicial agencies cannot resolve core legal issues. Man, I love these cases. Do y'all see that? Non-judicial agencies. So when a judge is not sitting in their proper capacity, that's why I say you ask the court, are you operating under the judicial branch of government? That's your first question. And do you possess judicial power? That's your second question. Those are your only questions. You don't let nothing go forward until you confirm that idiot dressed in black. They and not Johnny Cash. Uh uh. They don't know how to walk the line. That they got proper authority. Okay? That's what y'all doing here. That's what we doing. Traffic court, no mas. Child support, no mas. Seizing of children. Those are all private property issues. They have no jurisdiction, people. But they told me, and now look, they wouldn't let me in it. I, I don't have nothing to do with that. Don't come to me if they tell you no. I can only tell you what the law is, what the law says. You have to fight. So don't come to me saying they didn't do this and they didn't. They, they don't, I don't care about they, they. They, they did. Day Day is dead. My job is to provide you with the information. Your job is to study the information to the point where nobody can come and take this information away from you. That's why I'm giving it to you. That's why you're receiving the maxims of law. See, look at that. See, that's because he's got to do seven. Okay, Y-E-S. He's got to do seven paragraphs per section, and he must include certain things in each paragraph. Okay, so that's why he's now putting in your statement of claims. So you'll have to copy and paste everything and then get rid of the comments in the middle and you'll have your complete motion. Okay, sorry, I had to do it that way because I don't want it being short. Look at that short thing he did at first. Now, and you see how he's incorporating the cases that he had up front. Oh, and you notice how he didn't put the citation marks for what court, what year or any of that stuff because we don't care. We don't care what year a court decided this. Remember, they were Nisi Prius courts to begin with. 
So now we go Y E S. Enter. They were Nisi Prius courts to begin with. They had no jurisdiction to begin with. But they have to rule based on principles of law, which is why we include maxims of law. Okay? And now, your guys are going to have to adjust it with the bankruptcy thing. Okay? If you're not using it for bankruptcy, using it for traffic court, then you have to reword certain sections. That means you're going to have to go over it. You're going to be just as tired as he is. Look at all this. Oh, he finished. Look at that. Certification and verification section. Oh, oh, man, done. So you guys now have your petition. Now, before we go on, we have to let you know what's being done. Okay, so you guys are going to get a copy of this. But what we need to do is we need to play something for you all so that you all can hear it. Because it ain't going to make no sense. As a matter of fact, we have it in this bankruptcy petition that we just copied. I'm going to let you guys hear it. This is the... This is 25 cases right there. We're going to play right here. It's going to tell you what all of the cases mean. So pay attention. The central thing. Okay, hold on one second. I know, I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I played another video earlier today. Put it on TikTok, put it on YouTube, and you didn't hear the sound. That's because of the audio. So let's make sure you guys can hear because it'll be a waste of time me doing that again. So let's make sure that you all can hear the audio, audio, audio. See, that's me. Audio. See, right there, that's me. Now let's see him. He will be the top one. Theme of these cases is the Constitution's firm requirement that private rights, particularly those involving property, must be adjudicated by courts that are part of the independent judicial branch established under Article 3 of the U.S. Constitution. The judicial branch has to be independent. It cannot be part of the legislative branch or the executive branch. The judicial branch has to be independent, people. Well, when a judge is hearing your case as a core case, a core matter, it's a public matter. That's administrative or legislative. It is not judicial. They have to be an independent branch of government, meaning separation of powers. Holy! I know y'all need to understand that, but y'all just gonna have to get it. Article 3 courts, unlike legislative or administrative bodies, are vested with full judicial power and are designed to protect individual rights through mechanisms such as life tenure. Now remember I told y'all, they have to possess full judicial power, not part of it. It's either they have judicial power or they don't. That's why you ask them. Hold on now. Tenure and protection from salary reductions, ensuring judicial independence and impartiality. Private rights refer to individual claims of legal entitlement, such as property ownership, contract disputes, or other personal legal... Contract rights, property ownership, including your children, that's your property. Y'all really do need to pay attention to that. The Fifth Seventh Amendment ensures you the right to due process, the right to property, the right to life. It says your property cannot be taken for public use. Well, anytime they make it a core matter, they just take it in for public use. Shh, don't tell nobody you heard that from me. Legal interests. These rights are constitutionally protected, particularly under the Fifth and Seventh Amendments, which ensure due process and the right to a trial by jury. The Constitution ensures that such rights are safeguarded by requiring that they be heard in courts that are constitutionally empowered to protect these rights. Congress cannot delegate the adjudication of private rights to non-Article 3 tribunals. Wait, 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 hold on. What did you say Congress can't do? Hold on, y'all. I, I, I didn't hear him correctly. Congress cannot delegate the adjudication of private rights. Wait a minute. Hold on. Congress doesn't have the authority to do what? Get out of here. You hear me talking to him? Get on out of here. Congress can't do... Oh, well, let, let's go ahead and take care of that problem so that don't happen no more. Okay. Congress cannot delegate the adjudication of private rights to non-Article 3 tribunals, such as bankruptcy courts or other legislative bodies created under Article I. Non-Article 3 courts lack the constitutional protections that ensure judicial independence, making them unsuitable for handling private rights, as they are often subject to political influence or operate with limited judicial power. Hold on. Non-Article 3 courts lack the constitutional protections to ensure judicial independence, making them unsuitable to handle private rights? So ladies and gentlemen, keep announcing that your rights are private. They're not public. You don't have any jurisdiction over my rights. My rights belong to me. Remember, we told you guys, to reserve your rights. Ninth and Tenth Amendment talks about reserving and retaining your rights, but do so with prejudice and in perpetuity. 
to say I reserve my rights with prejudice and in perpetuity. Just that simple. Okay, hold on. Let's let them continue. Power. The Supreme Court has consistently ruled that these bodies cannot decide issues involving private property or personal legal disputes without violating the separation of powers principle. For example, in Northern Pipeline v. Marathon, the Supreme Court invalidated the delegation of judicial powers to bankruptcy courts to resolve private disputes unrelated to core bankruptcy proceedings. Similarly, in Stern v. Marshall, the court held that even though Congress granted certain powers to bankruptcy courts, they could not constitutionally adjudicate private rights disputes involving state law claims, as this exceeded their jurisdiction under Article I. Ladies and gentlemen, the key issue is that Congress. Y'all need to understand what Congress cannot do. Hold on. The key issue is that Congress cannot bypass the constitutional requirement that independent courts, vested with the full powers of Article III, handle private rights disputes. Legislative and administrative courts, which are often seen as part of the executive or legislative branches, do not offer the same protections against potential overreach or bias, and thus, lack the authority to resolve matters of private property or personal lawfully secured rights. This separation of powers ensures that the fundamental rights of individuals are adjudicated fairly, impartially, and with full lawful and legal protected rights, as mandated by the Constitution. The petitioner requests that this district court declare the relevant provisions of the Bankruptcy Act null and void, insofar as they apply to private property and contractual rights, and ensure that the petitioner's claims are adjudicated under the full protections of the Constitution by an Article III court. Sir Ladies and gentlemen, this document was created, as you can see, it's 29 pages. This document was created for this specific individual for one specific reason. Because they're going to deny him. And he's going to take this right on through to the Supreme Court. You see, the problem is nobody has done this before. So that's why we're giving it to you. We're letting you know what the law is. It's up to you to sit up there and enforce your rights. They're yours. It's up to you to enforce your rights, not mine. I can't enforce your rights. Only you can stop forest fires. Okay? I know it's prevent. Leave me alone. All right. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to go because I'm just learning about the Indian Relocation Act. The Indian Relocation Act? I thought it applied to them tribes that we see on them reservations. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just finding out that that's not who those Indians that they were relocating was. Lord have mercy. Through historical documents. So I'm on that tip right now. So I got to let y'all go because I told y'all I'm tired. But I definitely got to go take a look at this stuff. Take care, everybody. We will talk. And no, don't send me no emails and no papers or anything. I don't need you helping me. If I need your help, I'll tell you I need your help. Now get on now. Get on now.